Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this makeup look right here. It is Diwali makeup look number two. The first one was a lot more simple and natural. Natural by my standards. Uh, this one is a lot more dark and smoky, but I think that they are both perfect for Diwali. Before we get started, I just want to wish all of you out there a very, very, very happy Diwali. And with that, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. I applied a little bit of the NARS uh, matte concealer and then I set it with the RCMA No Color Powder just so that the concealer isn't too sticky. Next, I am going to get a mirror. Okay, so this is a Sephora cream eyeshadow pencil. You could use it as eyeliner too. And it's cool because it has a brush, like a smudger brush on the other end. This is the color. It's a very dark navy blue. What I'm going to do with that is put it on pretty much the whole mobile lid up to the crease but not beyond. You don't have to be completely neat with this product because we are blending it out. This step isn't that necessary. You don't have to do it. I'm just doing it because I want that blue to really pop, but if you want to make this look a little bit more subtle, uh, just skip this step. So I'm going to take the smudger on the other end now, and I'm just going to smudge out the line at the top here, just so it's not as harsh. Next, I'm going to take a crease pencil, and I'm going to go into my Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette, and I'm going to take mostly this color but just a tad of that one as well and I'm gonna put that into the crease this will help blend out that dark color and give the crease a little bit of depth okay now I'm gonna take another crease brush this one is just um, you can see it has a bit of a flatter shape to it and, sorry, this palette is so gross looking, but I'm going to mix these two colors. And I'm going to put that, like, pretty much into the crease. So the other colors, the other color, sorry, was above the crease, and this one we're putting right into that crease. Okay, so next I'm using this brush. It's like a shader brush, but it's a little bit more fluffy. And I'm going to go into the Marc Jacobs Smartorial palette. This is the beautiful, beautiful blue-toned one. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to go into this really dark navy blue. All we're doing with that is putting it over that cream shadow to kind of th um, set it into place and make it a little bit more bold. You can see I'm taking it and when I get closer to the crease, I'm just kind of tapping it out so that it, so that it has like a really nice gradient. So I'm gonna take that same shader brush we used to apply the blue and I'm gonna dip into a black shade. Go into any black that you have I have this one from the Kat Von D palette that is like crazy black. Also, if you don't have the Baked Browns palette, this is a really, really good alternative. So I'm going to take that black. We're going to get a lot of fallout, but we'll clean it. And I'm just going to take that and tap it in the outer corner. I mean, sorry, the inner corner. I'm going to take that black and I'm going to apply it to the outer end right here as well. Okay, next. I know it looks messy right now, but it'll look good in the end. Also, as I'm going along, I'm wiping out that fallout. Otherwise, I would just look crazy. 
Um, so I wiped off this brush. This is, I just really like the shape and size of this brush. That's why I keep using it for everything. But we're going to brighten everything up a bit. We're going to go into this beautiful blue. And what I'm going to do with that is concentrate it mainly in this center area. So putting that in the center, it's just going to brighten everything up a bit so it doesn't look too dark. So next I want to apply a little bit of this color Turbosan from the Dose of Colors collection. It's this really pretty blue one. It has like blue but it looks green and purple and different lighting. This is one of the ones you don't use with um, a wet finger. You can just go in with your finger. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it right in the center of that blue. Okay, so now I'm going to take a flat, tiny little shader brush and I'm going to go into this bone color. And I am going to put that on top of the brow bone. So this part didn't get recorded, but I took a black eyeliner pencil and smudged it really close to my lash line and then took a angled brush and kind of winged it out and I also put it in my upper waterline. So I'm just going to go do my base off camera. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Primerizer and then Fenty Foundation and Milk Makeup Concealer and then I'll be back with my base on to finish the look. So I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon just melt it onto my hand first because this one is a little stiff I've noticed compared to other ones. And I'm just going to take that and put it in my lash line. I'm going to go into the Marc Jacobs palette and I'm going to take a little bit of this and then some of this blue, just mix them. And I'm going to smudge that onto my lash line. Next, I'm going to take a brush like this and I'm going to go into the transition color that we used. And I'm just going to put that lightly underneath the blue just so it doesn't look as harsh. Okay, so I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into this color. I'm going to put that right on the inner corner. For bronzer today, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. This is in the color 102 Tantric. This thing is humongous. I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Brush. I'm going to bronze up my cheeks. I always take it up into this temple area. Otherwise, there's always like a, there's a bit of a disconnect if you don't do that. For blush today, oh, also go in with one of, whatever your favorite mascara is. Today, I use the All May One Coat Mega Volume Mascara. I use that in every video. I absolutely love that mascara. And for blush today, I'm going to go in with Benefit Coralista. It's just a really pretty coral color. Um, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it as well, not too much, but it's extremely pigmented. I'm going to apply that to the apples, blending backwards like this. For highlight, I'm going to go in with a new favorite. This is the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie um, Highlight in Fuego. I'm going to take my Anastasia A23, get that really well coated. And I'm going to use this to highlight my face, so the tops of the cheekbones. So I'm going to take that above the eyebrows. Okay, so for lips today, I used MAC Lip Pencil in Soar, and then MAC Lipstick in Captive. And yeah, you guys, here is the final look, the Valley look number two. Don't forget to go watch the first one. And yeah, you guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe because I really hope to see all of you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.